Item number SCP-3899 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-3899 is not currently containable utilizing conventional methods. To date, it has not manifested outside the continental borders of the United States of America, and as such current secondary measures are considered adequate until research yields a more complete and feasible mechanism for its physical containment. Upon manifestation of SCP-3899, all citizens banned CB radio emissions from SCP-3899 are to be monitored by nearby Foundation listening posts for attempted contact by SCP-3899 to civilian recipients. All individuals contacted by SCP-3899 are to be detained, administered Class B amnestics, and released upon completion of treatment, as are all eyewitnesses. Information concerning SCP-3899 is to be suppressed via local transportation administration denial and televised media blackout. Accounts of SCP-3899 relayed via the internet are to be either denounced as false in coordination with local governments or deleted where practicable. Disinformation Initiative 3899 Oil Slick is to be continually updated and disseminated across social media and other high-traffic websites to maintain SCP-3899's current status as an urban legend. SCP-3899 is, in appearance, a black Peterbilt 379 semi-trailer truck with attached trailer. SCP-3899's performance capabilities exceed what is possible for conventional trucks of similar make. Being able to reach speeds in excess of 430 km an hour, and accelerate or decelerate at rates that would ordinarily result in significant structural damage. SCP-3899 also displays the ability to selectively displace itself in space across short distances, typically to avoid nearby motorists or obstacles while traveling at anomalous speeds. These transference events appear as a sudden disappearance, followed by instantaneous reappearance not more than 300 meters in any direction accompanied by a cloud of dense black smoke. Samples of this smoke obtained by field agents have invariably consisted of a mixture of diesel fuel combustion byproducts, volcanic ash, and atomized blood possessing inconclusive genetic markers. SCP-3899 emergence events begin with the manifestation of the object upon a random stretch of interstate highway within the borders of the continental United States of America. The object will appear traveling at or within approximately 3 km an hour of the posted speed limit, with a significant distance between itself and any nearby motorists. SCP-3899 will then accelerate rapidly to its top speed, using its anomalous transference ability to avoid obstacles in its path. SCP-3899 has only appeared between the hours of sundown and sunrise, and will demanifest if it encounters direct sunlight. It will also instantly demanifest if its presence results in an automotive accident. See Addendum 3899-01. SCP-3899's operator, designated SCP-3899-1, will broadcast over SCP-3899 CB radio circuit at random intervals. SCP-3899-1 willingly engages any replying contacts in conversation, although its statements are occasionally incoherent, as it is declined to clarify statements concerning its origin or purpose. See Interview SCP-3899-02. SCP-3899-1 appears only as a silhouette of what appears to be an overweight male humanoid wearing a billed hat. Eyewitness reports have attested to the presence of smoky, tentacular structures within the cab accompanying SCP-3899-1. Specific information regarding SCP-3899-1's physical makeup is not currently available, as SCP-3899 has proven resistant to all attempted forms of penetrative scanning. Addendum 3899-01 On November 27, 1999, Foundation agents embedded within the Virginia State Department of Transportation received reports of a large black truck appearing instantaneously on a length of Interstate 64. Following secondary containment of SCP-3899's effects on the populace, agents apprehended Martha Lewis, a motorist who drove through a concrete sidewall when startled by SCP-3899's emergence on the adjacent lane. Interview 3899-01 Date: December 3, 1999 Interviewed Martha Lewis Interviewer Agent Lee Interview conducted one week after encounter with SCP-3899 for information gathering purposes under the guise of a police investigative follow-up. Thanks for taking the time out and coming down, Ms. Lewis. 
We know you've had an eventful week. Isn't that the truth? Can I get you anything before we start? <laughs> no, I think I'll survive. Alright. Now, I know this is going to seem redundant, but we want to make sure your story is staying consistent over multiple interviews, sort of a test for mental stability while we solidify that day's events. Know what I mean? I hope I pass. <laughs> Just relax, Miss Lewis. It's more of a formality than anything else. We'll take it from the top. Start from the beginning. Whatever you can remember. It's all still clear in my mind. I'm driving down I-64 on the way home from a late day at work. The sun had just gone down, I'm in the left lane, and there's no one near me. I remember checking because I was about to exit. Then out of nowhere this huge truck just appears right next to me. There was a bunch of smoke, like it was on fire or something, and the sound was like a bolt of lightning had just struck right next to me. All the smoke clouded my windshield and my heart was in my throat. It all happened so fast. Before I could really process anything that was happening, I was plowing right through a concrete divider and into some trees. I think I passed out. When I came to, there were paramedics and cops. They took me to the hospital. I see. Well, I guess that matches everything we have in the report here. Is there anything else? Any complications? Complaints? There is one thing, actually. Yesterday, when I got home, I checked the mail and I saw that I got a letter. There wasn't any return address. Inside was a bunch of cash and random bills, all wrinkly and stained like they were old and used. I counted it up and it was over $12,000, and there was a note. It was all burnt and I couldn't tell what it was written with. Not pencil or pen, though. Something else. Hmm. Is there any way we could see it? Yes, I have it right here in my purse. Martha Lewis was administered Class B amnestics and released upon confiscation of aforementioned document. A company money was seized and an equivalent value transferred to Ms. Lewis's personal account after Ethics Committee review. After analysis, Document SCP-3899-01 was determined to be written on non-anomalous notebook paper and charcoal. Text of recovered document. I'm sorry, didn't mean no harm, for the damages get y'all a new rig and drive on. Interview SCP-3899-02 Interview conducted by Agent Knowles via radio transceiver from a Foundation helicopter during SCP-3899 emergence event. Dated October 22, 2003. SCP-3899-01, are you receiving? Shit, girl, you know that ain't my call sign? Y'all on the road, y'all use road names. Oh, uh, in that case, what is your call sign? I'm the night hauler and I'm coming in hot. I know y'all can feel the speed. Knowles adjust receiver to compensate for SCP-3899-01's volume. Right, sorry, night hauler. Can you tell me exactly where it is you come from? I roll with the wind, my wheels sing sweet love to the blacktop. I'm filling y'all's veins with road salt and exhaust, and the smell of burning rubber. Ain't no bother where I'm from, we all gotta live for the ride and die for nothing. I see, are you hauling anything in particular? Ain't you listening, girl? Are you seeing this? What I got is pure rattling salvation, eighteen wheels at a time. When y'all's roads is choked, when the ways is blocked and y'all's speed is all dead and gone, I'm dropping this load and we all be drinking gas and breathing smoke. I'm not sure I understand. Who are you? Why are you here? This is for the souls of the road, for the long nights and dead engines and everyone trying to put that horizon under their wheels. I am the roar of hot iron. I am screaming freedom. I am the death of all barriers. This rig ain't got no quit, honey. I do not stop. Can you feel the rumble? Can you see the fire and smell the burn? I know you can. I can taste your goddamn heart and I know you want to fly apart with me. I… I think I can. No. Pollens, turn the hell around, something's wrong. In light of Agent Knowles' debriefing, investigation of SCP-3899's possible mimetic influence has commenced.